Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello and welcome to the video for what is the math date time data nodes. So the data nodes for our date time variable type are the nodes that allow us to manipulate the data inside of or get it into this variable type. We're going to take a look at those nodes. So here's our date time object. Remember, it returns back a year, a month, a date, an hour, a minute, a second, a millisecond. It's a date and a time object. Now, if we want to get just the date from it, well, we have the get date node. It's simple as that. It gives us just the date, outputs it into the date time structure, and the time will be 0000, zero, zero, zero no actual time. So it's useful if you want to do something, for example, adding dates together or getting the bare minimum of a date. You also have the ability to get just the individual year, month, and day out of that date. Keep in mind, get day gives the 1 through 31 value. So December 25th would be 25 for the day. Whereas get day of the year would give you the number of the day of that year based on January 1 of that year. So for example, February 1st, maybe 32 not one it's how many days have passed in that year since it started if we want to work with the time portions we have hour hour 12 minute second and millisecond these are all pretty simple except for hour 12 depending on your time zone time standard and where you get your time get hours your 0 through 24 0 through 23 component technically and get hour 12 is your 1 through 12 and your 1 through 12 component depending if you're using a and pm or just 0 through 23. get time of day returns back the time of the day how much time has elapsed since midnight of your time in so how many minutes have passed and it gives you how many minutes hours seconds it's a time pan structure if you just want the time of the day and not the date use the time of the day these are really simple is it morning before noon or is it afternoon afternoon and it returns back a true or false and then you have now utc now and today now gives you back the time and date on this computer for the current time zone so let's say you're at pacific which is minus eight and you get now it's going to give you back the local date and time on your computer but let's say you're trying to sync something you want something that's universal maybe you're going to utc time which is zero you might want to use the UTC date and time so that way you can keep things consistent no matter where your users are in the world. And then today returns back the date time structure for the date on this computer. doesn't care about the time. It just gives you back what is today's date for this local computer. And those are it. Those are going to be the data nodes for the date time variable type. 